Yep. All right. Uh, I'd like to call to order the Spirit Youth Leadership Council meeting today, May 6th. Uh, do I need a second? No. Okay. I don't think so. All right. Uh, Arbor Day. Uh, oh, hold on. We had to do roll call. Go ahead. Uh, so, Jack? Here. Rachel? Here. Downey? Here. Alexis? Blink? Here. Aston? Austin? Blake? Ron? Connor? Here. Grace? Shut up. <laughs> Ian? Ray? Cassin? Here. Morgan? Here. Paula? Sydney? Here. Oh. Tally? Keegan? Here. Zachary Sun? No, 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 no. Uh, Zoe Woods? Here. All right. Go ahead. All right. Uh, the Arbor Day event, uh, I don't know how many of you want to, but it went pretty well. We just tossed it. You know, uh, had them plant some flowers and stuff. Anybody want to talk about it at all? Well, I feel sorry for you guys because you have first shift and then second shift we stay there for like 15 minutes yeah. and a half. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it got nice right after it was over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 really yeah. kind of Yeah, you guys were really kind of interesting. It sounds pretty bad outside. Yeah. <laughs> it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll move on to our new business then. Uh, National Trails Day. That's on June 7th. Uh, I know the date's not on there, but that's Tori's fault. <laughs> Right? <laughs> uh, does anybody know of really how the Craig and Craig Union works? You did? Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain that? Uh, so it's basically like, I don't know, like a game that's sort of similar to it, but it's like, um, it teaches kids like about... You should pass the cookies. You should. <laughs> um, it's, it's basically uh, <laughs> teaching kids about in like the food chain. Mm -hmm. And so it starts with, um, a higher food chain, which is like lion, yeah, eagles, and then it goes lions, and then snakes and reptiles, and then bugs. And so you get put into a group, and then you go out. And if you're in a higher food chain, then you get to yes. Pretty sure there are lions. Yeah. Well, I know there lions. was something else. I don't know. There was a lot of rattlesnakes. I totally thought there was like a lot. Okay, so I mean, we can like mess with the people. I was like, okay. Um, are there props that we need? We need yardsticks and signs. How many yardsticks? As many as there are groups. Yeah. Okay. Because it's just like one sign per group. Yeah. yeah. Then the leader of that just how many people are in the group? Um, it depends on how many kids there are. They just try to split them up evenly so that there's like kind of an even number. But as you play the game, it kind of changes. Okay. Um, based on, like, if you're being hunted by whatever is your prey in food chain, then if they, like, capture you, I guess, then you just kind of, like, become one of those people. Oh, gotcha. And so everyone just kind of switches. So are the signs to, like, to label what group is? Yes. Yeah. And then, like, like, like yeah. people who, if two groups were to, like, come in contact, they would know what they were without okay. having to ask. Okay. Do groups have to stay together? Yes. Yeah. And then we were going to have you guys be the group leaders, correct? That was the plan? Okay. Alright, uh, we're going to assign roles and schedule today. Yeah, we're just going to see, so who can make it on June 7th? It's 9.30 in the morning, and it'll probably go to 12, 12.30. What day is that? Sunday, June 7th. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so raise your hand if you can do that thing. I think this is going to be similar. Okay. So have the Google uh, forms been working for everybody? Do people like that? Yeah. Okay, so for me it makes it more easier because it's automatically puts it into a spreadsheet. So if I send that out, can you guys respond to that with a different value? You can check out your families. Does that make it a little bit easier? What day of the week is this? Sunday. Okay, I think I can't do that. Okay, so I'll send it out tomorrow, um, and then, yeah, you can just respond to it. Now you can check with your families. Um, All right, uh, we'll do that, assigning everything later. Uh, park reading program. 
looks like you can't just do it for the parks without to change the name. Um, also, uh, we have to kind of make a schedule, uh, assign volunteers specific dates. Uh, we also have to develop an advertising uh, plan. Um, you know, themes, that kind of stuff. The themes for whatever it's going to be on that day of the reading. Because we can do dinosaur day or something, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, what happened with Purple Park? So with Purple Park, we can either keep it at Purple Park or we can move it because the concern is that residents on the south side of Colton, you know, it's not as accessible to them. So if you're like a babysitter or something, you want to take the kids, you have to cross Colton and go all the way to Purple Park. So we can move it around so it makes it more accessible and we can get different people involved. Or we can keep it at Purple Park and see how it goes. But I mean, if we move it closer to Colton, <coughs> then the people who are like in Old Town won't be able to go. Like, yeah, so if we move it, we can do one like at Aspie Park. So we can hit Original Town and Purple Park and then South of Colton. Um, so so we can move it. Um, South of Colton. Um, I think there are four or five parks down there. Can we ever just do community park or community? Oh, that's a good idea. It is in between. That's the most central one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That is Because, like, if we do one just over here, like, I feel like yeah. that would be really cool, but if we can, like, go in the middle, sort of, then yeah. I feel like better. What do you think about that? Community park? Yeah. I like that. Because, I mean, yeah, that is the most central park. And for, like, breaks, you can have kids go out to, like, places and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we also have to draft an invitation for guest readers, you know, kind of figure out how we're going to invite them before we send out the invites. Uh, anybody have any ideas for who we can invite for a guest reader? Um, like the librarians from like um, K, the K8 Superior Elementary and Monarchy. Yeah. The Monarchy K8 still count because it's since it's a new school. Or well, we could ask them. Okay. Anybody else? Parents, yeah. And I'm sure there'd be some, you know, teenagers that want to volunteer and read yeah. to students as well. I think that should be enough too. But. We can do the the board, the trustees, um, the mayor. Okay. All right. So then we have to write the letter <laughs> to invite them. Oh, you know, real quick. So, with changing it to community park, we changed the name. Right. <coughs> what was the name? It was like purple. Purple park party pages. Yeah. We could just put a park party pages. Oh, true. It's valid. <laughs> so, there's. Some, does anybody have anything else? Park party pages. I don't know. That's his. <laughs> as as the purple <laughs> no, that great. Uh, just, I wasn't here last meeting, but it kind of seems like the title's a little ambiguous as to what we're yeah, I trying to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I were to hear that, I wouldn't really know what, like, what it was unless I read something about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the word for like, reading or reading a program, program or yeah. something. That's me so and you I know, know. but. So throw out whatever you guys got. Not all at once. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, park reading program as boring as that. I mean, that's what it is right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how we could make that more colorful, I guess. A reading park program. Yeah. Park reading. What was that again? Park. Just move the awards around. Oh. You're going to say community, community reading program? Yeah, we wanted to put community in it because then like, people know where it is. Mm -hmm. So you need a community park reading program? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We can say community park story time. Ooh. Oh, that's not Ooh, now you're talking. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, I actually, that's more descriptive, though. Yeah. Reading program sounds kind of boring, like it's a program. Story time is more fun, especially if you're attracting kids. Yeah, yeah I like that. that's a good one. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. so I like the motion that we... <laughs> 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 Any other ones? Mm -hmm. I like the 
the story too. Yeah. 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 All right. And we're we going to draft a presentation for the best years. Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody have any other best readers? Please permit, fire permit. And we could do theme days for those. Like we could do fire me books if you have fire me. We just have to dress like fire me. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, for when we used to do the superior running thing, the firemen would come with the big block, like hose and spray cans, and I thought it was super fun. Like at the end, it could be kind of like. I don't know if that's actually fun. Don't get my books wet, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like water. Will they be reading along, or will they just be, like, Oh, I'm just going to hear them. Uh, listen. Okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, well, there's only one book. <laughs> <laughs> or, okay. um, and then for, for days, um, for the last one we talked about starting on May 30th, and that's coming up quick, that's in three weeks. So do we want to push it back? Yeah. One, yeah, because, I mean, we don't get the flyer, we don't get the buildings. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Creek Fest is that weekend, so I know a lot of people will be well, in Boulder. The Creek Fest is that weekend. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, so that's, uh, is the May 30th weekend? May 30th is Fest is, The Creek Fest is the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Is it? Oh, yeah, so more of the weekend one. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, so do we, and then we talked about alternating Wednesdays and Saturdays. So we can do twice a month, and we have June 10th as a Wednesday, June 20th as a Saturday, um, July 8th as a Wednesday, July 25th as a Saturday, and then all the way to August, August 12th as a Wednesday, and August 15th as a Saturday. Um, well, did we decide that it's going to be Wednesdays, Saturdays, or can we stick to Wednesdays or Saturdays. We, on the last one, we said we were going to alternate, but now we have more people, or if people have changed their mind, we can, we can switch it. I like the alternating idea, just mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. some kids can't make it on either mm -hmm. weekdays or weekends. Mm -hmm. So, the so I'll be devil's advocate just here just for a minute. It's easier to remember if it's, oh, it's a real Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Now, or, you know, is this the Saturday? Is this the Saturday? Was it last Saturday? Or it's yeah. um, that's for simplicity purposes? Mm -hmm. Do we want it every week? Like no, every other week. Every other yeah. week. Yeah. I mean, it could be every other Saturday. It doesn't have to be a Wednesday, but the point is it's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're right, it, 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 different populations, but Saturdays get really busy. That's all yeah. I know. Yeah. With sports and stuff. So we're not working parents, like... Yeah, so in the middle, but it would probably still be a drive for most people and yeah. We don't wanna like have no one be able to come, I don't know. I don't know, I mean when I babysat like kids before we once did a trek from like up over near El Dorado to Chuck E. Cheese, like little kids can they can do it. It's more of a matter of the babysitters. Yeah, exactly. And if the parents are okay with it. Yeah. 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 Well, they can ride their bikes. I mean, they're most, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of houses here in the park, so I think regardless, we'll have a big, I think if we decide to do it, we'll have more than one for the kids. Um, okay, so do we want to do Wednesdays starting on June 10th then? Because Wednesdays with the consensus was? I mean, if for some reason you, you, we run into this issue, I mean, we can always come back and say, you know what, we tried it for a month, we had two consecutive Wednesdays, we had two kids show up. Okay, that's not working. Yeah. So let's switch to Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Would it be like morning or like midday? So two days. Not too early in the morning, like maybe 10? 10 hours maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before it gets too far, too late. 10. Okay. So. Um, do, yeah, second and fourth Wednesdays. Um, and do we want to do things, or do we just want to get general books, and then we can do like the PD and um, fire department day be a theme, or do we want all of them to be themes? I know last time we talked about not doing or doing things for the kids to test out. 
um, for those of you that were here. So, themes would be good. But I'm sure we can find enough books if we like make them broad enough themes. Mm -hmm. If we have the first one like be the firefighter theme, I think a lot of people will show up because they know kind of like, I don't know, from Superior, like that, you know, the fun run and everything. Mm -hmm. but, I think we do like animals as well. We just make them super yeah. broad, but like, so there's a, yeah, so yeah. there's a, that's not right now, you know. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so let's draft just general themes and we can narrow it down to six, because we have six per one. So, superhero. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, so, we have Do you want superhero to have PD in front of there that day? No, that's or just different day? Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Different thing. Just keep like dressing up as fire. Um, animals. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. The firefighter, at least I don't know, the general. PJs, that's a good one. Yep. Yeah. 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 PJs are good. Yeah. Um, and state princess or have some of them? Try to do another girl thing that will all take the boys interested, though. Yeah, I mean, this is where she's most The key would be gender neutral. We do like a castle thing. Yeah, like a fairy tale. Like a fairy tale. Yeah, yeah. 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 fairy tale. Fairy tale is good. Or Disney, you know. Well, that's six right now. Three, five, okay. Uh, three, five, and five, and five, and five, and five. Where are we getting these books? The, um, was the library. Okay, yeah. We could do police to remove and fire from on separate days if we can find a sixth one. Okay. Do you guys have more ideas? Well, let's come up with a couple more ideas and we'll see. July 4th is what we do Yeah. There you go. Marco? Okay. That's good. It's a good. So yeah, we're first. Or no, well, that would be after the day. Which one? If we did July 10th as our first one, it'd be kind of after the 4th of July. Well, well we have June 10th, then June 24th. Oh, June, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, the USA one. So, let's decide. The fire department should be this, the first one. The first one? Mm -hmm. And then, what's the Wednesday, the second the Wednesday eight. of? Yeah. I think that the 4th of the, the USA eight. one should be like, should be the July 8th because that's like closer. Like right after, but it's over though. Like yeah. they're moving on to something else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because July the hell is right after. Yep. Nothing else. Um, just an additional idea. Back to school. Oh yeah. Um, That's good. Right. Right. Um, Bring your new clothes and your backpacks. Oh, yeah. What's the second? So, yeah, July 8th and 22nd. Okay. July 27th. We can do the fairy tale one after we leave. Yeah. I think PJ should be the last one because hopefully everyone will like, dress up and it'll be a fun way to end it. Yeah, August 5th mm -hmm. and the 19th. And when does school start? That's pretty Oh, uh, August starts. Er, August. <laughs> school starts August. 18th or the 23rd. I think we should spend that superheroes in Chinatown. I don't know. I feel like they're kind of. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty like they're pretty general, neutral, and like I think so. Saying it was a bias because I'm not going to be here and I want to be there for the fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the fifth and the nineteenth are the two times. If for some reason the nineteenth is after school starts, I think it's a good day. I think oh, I think it was the 18th. There was like two different days on the calendar that I looked at. I think elementary starts. This is the fifth for sure. Mm -hmm. 
And then you know what? Maybe we'll just say, hey, we're doing it on the 12th. We'll just do it back to back two weeks in a row because it worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. Fifth is the, yes. Yeah, the fifth is one. Okay. And then, oh. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe then we can do like that last Saturday, the fifteenth. The last just before, the, Yeah, back to school the last Saturday. Maybe we can do mm -hmm. that instead of eight twelve. No, maybe eight fifteen. Fifteen. Does that work? Yeah. New school according to the BBSD calendar. School starts on, no, it starts on the um, 20th for first and fifth graders um, and the 21st for kindergartners. Oh, so then you can actually move forward then. That's the last um, one. Okay. <laughs> so so then we can just stick to the program then. Yeah, we need to start for high school. I think high school starts. Oh, oh, oh. absolutely. So high school starts on the 21st. Oh, cool. Okay, so the, well, sorry, 21st. So, so was that Wednesday before we were in the 12th? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. So that was, it was the 19th. 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 Well, that works perfect. Cool. So then we should definitely erase that. That makes sense. I know kids can be kind of lost. Don't they? Yeah. 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 So should we contact the fire department ahead of time? Mm -hmm. um. oh, okay, so now I can draft the, mm -hmm. we can do this like a little, little tiny card that says like, the Springs Leadership Council like to invite you to mm -hmm. read like read at the story time. We could have we could like have a list of the dates and they could like RSVP and send it back or the day that we're inviting them specifically. So then we have like a set list that we're sending to every time. But then if it doesn't work for them then Yeah. So yeah, but then with the RSVP, they might RSVP it for the same day and not be able to mm -hmm. the other dates. And then we'd have to send out another one and be like, oh, that one's already taken. What else would you like to do? Mm -hmm. I think we should just invite them for the day we want them. For the specific day? For the specific day. Okay. I think we should have signs that we put up around like bigger roads, like around Purple Park. Yeah. Because yeah. that's always how we know about Right. Okay. Which I make sure that none of these dates are on one of the movie in the park nights, because that might be a lot of. Those are Thursdays, aren't they? Those are Fridays. Those are Fridays. And this is a morning thing, guys. Yeah, it would be. Those are Fridays, though, I think. Unless this would be a 10 a.m., and that's a. Yeah, so that would be a lot. I mean, we would be like, I'd be hearing parking up for a little bit. I don't know if this would be. A lot of cleaning for the. But I can be stuffed or anything, I know. Yeah, we talked about the food situation. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Whole Foods is going to do like punch cards for kids' reading hours, and the ones can contribute to them. If you want to go into the store and get a cookie, um, we, can, we can give out prepackaged food, but we can't make food and give it out because then that gets in the. Health code. Allergies. Yeah, all that crazy. Yeah, we could do popsicles or. Yeah. We could just get the like otter pops, you know, that have tons of really cheap, but kids love those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. 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 Oh, y
So there could be all these obstacles, but thanks to the <laughs> cast of the day. Okay. So the USA was ones that are like red, red, red. Yeah, I know. They're like the rocket ones. Yeah. You'll see them. You'll see them. Yeah. Fire. 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 Um, another game like themed um, fruit snacks, but we wouldn't know what they were doing I when. Think we but superhero fruit snacks. Super yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's probably animals. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, but if it happens if they're in a big like, box. Yeah. You know. I think there's prepackaged ones that are cool ones. Very cool. Battle Royal. We could just do fruit snacks again if we need to. We could just do like snacks in general. Yeah. We could just bring Otter Pops and be like, it's a magic wand. And then for the police, you can bring donuts. but they're very limited during the summer, so they're just going to put up our flyers, and then at our event, we can direct them to go to the library when they're open for people to like go check out books from there, and if they want to go to the school library, so they're going to partner with us and put up our flyers. So we have to start advertising soon, because school's going to be out pretty soon. Mm -hmm. So um, Do you have to have all the dates? In the beans, right? In the beans. Mm -hmm. Our marketing, they already made a format. Katie already made the general format, and then she'll have the information from tonight. So we'll have it done for the next couple of days. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. 
So, so the two schools, who else is getting it? Um, we'll take them to the schools. The Superior Elementary Library will have it all summer. So, because they have, they okay. open their library in the summer. So there's this kind of more, there'll be more views. But, um, and then we can do it at just the local businesses and the pools, because the pools will be opening in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And the fire and the stuff too, as well, mm -hmm. it's like a little bulletin boards. Mm -hmm. We can even, I don't know, for you, like I can get like the web master or whatever to like post oh. their views, like homepage about the like opportunity for a volunteer or whatever. Okay. And are you going to write pages of potential participants? Like um, the last one we decided on, I think up to 10 was the, eight, the target age of, okay. yeah, 10 and under. Yeah, because he's right before middle school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so and is this going to be like a letter or just? Kind just of like a little card. Um, oh. Basically, so I can send it to them and say that they're invited. So start with the title, I guess, and then mm -hmm. yeah. what we're wearing. So, I mean, addressing it to somebody's home. To the youth. Oh, sorry, you say like deer? Yeah. It's a little warm. <laughs> 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 Should we abbreviate it? I will. I just wasn't writing it out. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like silhouette? Um, I would like to invite you to read. Uh, to participate? Or yeah. Write down or, well, not to. Are they participating? I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, they'll be reading. Read. <coughs> to read. Yeah, I think we should let them know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to call back and we'll participate. What do you mean? I don't know if they have Yeah. Well, maybe you could just say, like, to invite you to the community park reading program or whatever we call right. it. And then we'll just kind of elaborate and say, like, we'll be doing this. Sure. Hmm. Community park story. Story. And then on that specific day that we're inviting them, correct? We're going to, I even heard that right, we're going to invite them to specific days. Right. On such and such. Yeah, instead yeah, of like, oh, you can. Right. Maybe right. yeah, we should say, like, as a guest reader. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It's perfect. Cool. Guest reader. Did you say ghost? <laughs> ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Large ghost of wind. <laughs> Actually, that's one thing, the ghost story, like you're the spooky story. Oh. <laughs> and they could come dress like that. You know what? I don't know, Harry Potter, I mean, you can have a theme like... Um, wizards. Wizards. Magic. Magic. Huh? I don't really think of that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to take one last one. I think the whole wizard... Yeah. Which one? Better than the USA. Books, books. That would be harder. The yeah. wizardry? No, kids don't dress up as wizards. No, we were saying instead of the USA day. No, 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 no. Kids get around. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a good idea for time, but not. Yeah, yeah I think the wizard, wizard thing is big hit. Yeah. yeah. And on the card, what would we be saying, like, Theme and the food and like everything to get them to try to come. Um. No, this is for the. This is for the readers. That's that. Oh, the readers. Not for the kids. Yeah, this is for the readers. Yeah. So yeah, I mean the reader. We could. I guess we could put them in there so they could dress up if they wanted to as a reader. Show up as well. Well, you can have RSVP. You can be like, oh, by the way, you're. Yeah. Here. We can just provide a costume for them when they get. Like, we can ask them to. <laughs> Okay, I think that sounds very short and simple. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you want to say where? Yeah. At? Yeah. Oh, it'll say community park. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Jenny. No. Because no. it's not like we're, we're addressing this to people that live in Boulder or that I don't know if they would know. I don't 
Yeah, they might teach in Superior, but they might not live here. And I know that there's a community park in Louisville. Yeah, I can put the I'll put the address at the bottom. In front of yeah. 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 And then we can maybe put the dates, like all the dates. So, I know. Well, no, no, because one of these will come with different meters, right, so right, right. the fire bill only get one yeah. read on that. Right. Yeah. But for the NHS students, or I don't know, the students in general, for those that can make certain dates, um, I don't know how we're going to So we could send out, I can send out a different one that says, like, take it all two hours, you can come join <coughs> us and read, and then have them email me to set up a day. Um, I mean, because we'll have the you guys, that'll help. But those days that you guys are going to be around, um, and we can extend it as volunteer hours, but... Well, even just like handing out snacks or just socializing with the kids afterwards or, you know. Is that what you guys are doing? Yeah, I know. Is it like yeah. our job kind of? If we're not there or... Whole like, like, you could have at least like, five people there. We should have like, five of you there every time that you've got it covered. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, like, like, Cause the reader would be expecting, what if there are, like, I don't know. That would be a nice problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> well, and their parents would be there too. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're babysitting all of them. Yeah. Like, they will come with the dolls. I feel like 30, 40 kids would be awesome. Yeah. Like 10 kids, I mean, it's easy. If we really wanted to do something with volunteers to try to get more volunteers, we could always do like breakout groups where we have like three or four kids in a group and we have someone recently. Mm -hmm. So we could test the levels and see if they end up getting too big. So you're saying multiple books? Yeah. Like, no, that's fine, I'm asking you. Like uh, under like different trees or something, or, like even on the fairy tale day, like there's definitely gender. But that's what I was asking about the ages of the kids. You know, a, a four-year-old reading level and a ten-year-old reading level are two. But then the reason why I was trying is that we might, so we'll have like different levels of books, like not different ages, but different levels of books, like little tiny stories. So if a ten-year-old wants to listen to, like. A, what would normally be a four-year-old story, they can feel free to do that. And if a four-year-old wants to listen to a ten-year-old story, they can do it. But like, just have different levels of books that kids can listen. Like that could be with the guest. There could be like the guest speaker has their time to read like one book to everyone or a few books, and then we could play a game or something and split off into smaller groups for like a few. Mm -hmm. How many books would we need to do each time? I mean, if, the question. if we wanted to be an hour long. A lot of books, I mean... Yeah, like four-year-old books. Just, yeah. Snack, well, they like, everyone can get snacks in the beginning, which will take some time, and we can read a few, and play a game, and then read again. I feel like... I'm not sure if those kids are going to sit for an entire 60 minutes listening yeah, to books. Yeah, that's why I definitely should be. Yeah, they need corporate games. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. so I think maybe like five bucks if they're short. I don't know. Yeah. The entire year. You should also end on a game to have an end on like good. Yeah. To you know, like, like that out. Superheroes go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so like, like, can we do start with a game and then we do a break and then read and then game? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That would be good. Maybe we should just do it like in the Yeah. Yeah. Not in the like ten thirty, you got like little lunch break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Snack break. Yeah. yeah. Because if they wait till like 11, they're kind of going to be hungry already, so. Yeah. Maybe snacks while, while there's a the reading going on. Yeah, so the second reading part. Yeah. So I can read snack I can go pick up five books for five and under and five and, up and over. And then we can go with that and kids can pick whatever book they want to go with. but. Then we have 10 solid books. So if we have like a solid enough group that we're just going to read to that group, we have choices. Um, we could also, like, if we wanted to, we could write on the flyer, like, if you have a favorite book, you can bring it and we might be able to read it. Yeah. If you have an extra book. <laughs> like, bring your favorite book? Well, we could say, like, the theme, like, bring your favorite prints and like, exactly. or something. Yeah. I mean, that's the other way to do it. You know, when we don't pick the books, they bring the books. 
the, 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 the danger of that is if they don't bring any books. <laughs> 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 but, or not enough, I should say. You could, yeah, you could. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Cool. Yeah. 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 A long list of games that I'm not dating. Like, oh, I'm still in this game. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and make that match with the theme, too. Yeah, we got I mean, we can, but you can, be pretty, you can be pretty. We can be fucking. Oh, yeah. Sure. No, no, no. Sharks in the nose. Four. And the red light, green light game. Like, just tap. It also may be helpful if we just have a couple, like, hula hoops or jump ropes laying around. There might be kids who don't want to play the game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we do have a playground. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Do you want to play the playground? Probably. I mean, I have to go look at Community Park because we've never been past the, the baseball fields. But this is a good one to just the playground and then the play yeah. yeah. soccer fields. Yeah. Yeah. It's like soccer fields. Yeah. 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 Field will have plenty of room. And that's another reason that we shouldn't do it on a Saturday, because it would be soccer. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't exactly. Yeah, um, so that was a good call. Okay. So, Sharks and Owls are like being like. Is there a way to see when the soccer games are? There's Saturday Pretty much every Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Saturdays are packed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's why hopefully we'll build some more fields out here and we'll. Mm -hmm. We need it. Yeah. 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 Ye
don't know if you guys think that's a good idea, it's just because there's so much to do with it, and you have separate uh, a separate meeting outside of this one, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. We actually have two more meetings besides this one. We would have many meetings, just this one in June, and then we have... Well, July 1st is the first Wednesday. Oh, it is? Oh, um, did we... Oh, didn't we switch it to June 26th? Is that what was was it was like um, I thought we had moved it forward because we thought that there was going to be too much stuff in July. Or am I mixing up? I mean, July 1st is Wednesday, so, I mean, that's the first. Okay, yeah, then we have three. We can meet on July 1st. Cool. Then it's going to be the first Wednesday in June. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's so a summer movie meeting, and I was like, oh, yeah. Okay. Isn't, so it also, isn't it on a Saturday, the actual? July 4th is, yeah. Okay, right. So we can either, uh, so we will have one field for the, for the kickball, so we can either have all the games except the championship game the night before and have the championship game at the 4th. I don't think there'll be any activity like any organized sports on July 4th. I don't guarantee it. So those fields should be available. Well, we have one because the event's on the other. Oh, the 4th of July event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and Friday night's a really good idea, I think. Mm -hmm. July 3rd? I mean, yeah, the Friday night, yeah, that's really good. Like, because I think it'll be way too hectic. What time are they starting? Like, what time are they starting? I don't know how many, like, because you're talking about most, most, having multiple brackets. Mm -hmm. Definitely yeah, how so. the kids go early than, like, the adult, like, male kind of games later in the evening. <laughs> so I can yeah. see them going off work and everything. Um, so, I think the first thing we should do, um, do we want it to be family games or do we want to do... So we have, we have two options. We can do um, like a family team, or we can do two separate, which do a kids game and an adults game. Yeah, I think the kids are um, So with that, um, the parent would then be like, the kids would have to watch while their parents play. So that's one con to that is that they're going to be playing, so now they're one of the parents has to stay out because they've watched the kids or the kids. Are. Couldn't you set up something for like some of us watch the kids? Yeah. So um, I wouldn't have to be there anyway. Yeah. yeah. Don't have anything else to do? Because and then it'll bring excitement. Like if kids are there cheering for their parents, otherwise it's like mm -hmm. no one wants to come. At least you have to have an audience. Um, I think if you have mixed parents and kids teams, the parents would behave. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's definitely pros and cons to each one. Yeah. So, I mean, it's really up to you guys. I think the family one does make it a little bit more like it's what you want like spending time bonding as a family. So, every team would have to have a minimum of X amount of parents, adults, and kids. To make it fair. To be fair. Mm -hmm. Would you like one set of family ones? I mean, if there, we could like try to do another one, and like that was more like for people that don't have kids or whatever. With team. So uh, we can do. Um, if we do, we can do free agents. You can sign up both using a random team if they don't have, yeah. you know, family to do it with. Um, so and that could that could work for both formats. We're gonna sign up, right? Yeah, and so the registration is going to have to go up within the next yeah. two weeks, probably. So, like, if we had a separate one that was just like a, like, if there's enough people, then we'll have another. Yeah. Um, also, a lot of people are going to be out of town. Yeah. So, I think realistically, getting 40 people is going to be a great turnout. Yeah. Um, and if you put 10 people on a team, teams. that's only four teams. <laughs> so, if you black an idea, it's going to be a very small bracket. Yeah. Um, so, and doing kids and adults separated might make it small, like a smaller pool, it might just be one game per. There'll be another 4th of July that we'll do this again. We just have to, there's the first time. Yeah, it's going to grow. Let's just try it. Mm -hmm. I think we should all try to get at least like Whatever, a certain amount of people yeah. sign up for, like at school, our friends are like, yeah. if you guys need to make a team, like, you'll be in there. We're going to have to have people that are running it, um, but we can, if we have enough people that are around, we can alternate. So we're definitely going to need four people, two to our registration table, a scorekeeper, and a timer. Um, so but four doesn't. But the people that are not playing though can do that. If, yeah. if you all want to participate and be part of the team, so. You rotate out. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're playing next. Okay, can you four be the scorekeepers? Yeah. yeah. If we like had a family thing, would we like 
have an age limit or no? Like, because I so the uh, 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 like with separating it uh, age eight and up, which then also we do with the kids and the young Let's make it so we have to go to the family itself and do like an injury for them. Because like a two-year-old, you know. If you have like a four-year-old, they can get killed. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Kill and then yeah. everyone has to stand. It's like one of the things where it's like, no one wants to actually play because they don't want to hit the kids. Mm -hmm. Like, right. It like totally changes. Yeah, you got to be aiding up. So aiding up, um, and then we can provide an activity for you where like, you can maybe do like story time or something off of the side. Because if you're a family and you have an eight-year-old and then a four-year-old, one of the parents is going to have to stay out for the four-year-old. And it's not, and don't think that every parent will want yeah. to play either. Yeah. They can just go to my, I know you know, I'll take care of the little one, once you go play. So we can provide a, like an activity for the kids that can't play as well, we do it over the time. Um, and then um, a minimum of six kids that are under the age of 12, so that it's fair. Because I believe, I, I mean, or 14, you can be 14 to age 14. So if it's your 14 or older, you're, you're an adult. Yeah, so we can do age of 14, be kids, and you have at least six kids, or five. So if you're, so if, you're if the minimum size thing is 10 and the max is 20, you could do, we could do half or we could do 40%. You can have 20 people on the team. We, that can be the, like, so from other kickball tournaments, people do like that range. That doesn't mean you have to do 20. You just have to have at least 10. So if somebody doesn't want to get 20 people in front of you. Seems like a lot. Yeah. So that's like how the average kickball tournament runs. But I mean, we can do 10 or 15 people. It's going to be like how the, the, like if one team has less than the other, there's going to be like, for, like the teams agree on how many players are going to play. Well, I mean, it doesn't really, you can't do that. It, it's not like it's unfair if you have 10 and you have 15, because you're still going to have the same amount of people. Like, there's, you can have nine people in the outfield, or out, so, or just nine people on the field. No, no, no. So you're going to be able to teach. So what would you say the teams be 10 each? Why do they have to be like 15 or 20? If it's like a range, then that gives you a little bit. Yeah. Because then you'd have to press like the extra team. If you wanted to do it together and there's like 10 people and you're like, like yeah. two families, like I guess I can kind of see the 10 to 20 thing like that. It just gives a range for people to... But we don't, I mean, we don't have to do that. We should give this a small range so people aren't going to like kick somebody off the team. Like, we have six people in our family and we have five. Oh, yes, it doesn't really hurt if there's more. Well, they just have to sit and they can always rotate. Because there'll be innings and mm -hmm. it's like their own choice. Yeah. Yeah. Can we have two different brackets, maybe family and then competitive? Just kind of have anybody that's. Yeah. Um, so yeah. to do that, we need. Um, so if we, if we say 40 is a good amount, then we only have four teams, four teams of 10, so that's only one game per bracket. So we can do that, I mean, we can do that. We can do a competitive game and a non-competitive game if we want. What would be competitive? Would it be like competitive would be 40? 40. Like, you just want to kill your opponent. You just decide what you want to do. I think we can get our neighborhood to do it. I feel like if everyone can just get their mm -hmm. neighborhoods to do it, like, is everyone... No, do they do know your neighbors? Or like, could you? I think it's like, like that. So you're all like, so like, we have a straight email. Like, we could totally get our neighborhood to do it. And like, and then if we also advertise, we can maybe get over that 40. And like, yeah. I think I feel like me and all my friends do it together, but I don't think I can get them to do it with their family. Yeah, you could, but it's a family event. I think that we, we could do that. So, I mean, there are, there are pros and cons to doing separate. Because <laughs> you're right, there might be a bunch of kids that want to do a team with just kids. Yeah. Well, can we like, do it like competitive? Because like, it depends on their age. But if they're like 14 or like 15 or whatever, it's going to be competitive. Yeah. So why don't we, if there's not enough, like, you can just combine them all and just tell them it's all non-competitive or something. And then mm -hmm. you can sign up for this. I don't know. Okay. I think we could just see how many people sign up. And if like only five people or like a few people signed up for the competitive, but then a lot of people signed up for non-competitive. We can just switch the competitive people into the non-competitive bracket. Mm -hmm. and just be like, hey, we don't have enough people to do that. So just, you know, 
So the non-competitive be families, mm-hmm. people, and couples, because then that's still, if he has a group of friends, they can't, they, can just, they can just join the family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we can do individual sign up and family sign up, yeah. or if somebody already made a team, you know, like if your street has a team already formed, then we're going to do a team registration and then individuals. Mm-hmm. I just think that's sort of when it's the age factor, because then you just kind of up to the people yeah, signing up. Yeah, you know what you're coming into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can kind of disclaimer saying. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. We could try to match up teams to play each other based on age. So, like, if we have two teams of like streets that are like similar age, then they can play each other. Well, based on like skill level. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I know it is. So, yeah, and it's. I mean, it's a bracket, so. I mean, no matter what you're gonna face. Okay, competitive and family, and if we want enough, we consolidate. I like that. That kind of. Merges the two, two ideas. So then, for having one game, one championship game on the fourth, then are we going to do both leagues do their championship game on that day? Yeah. Because yeah. 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 when people want to stay and like they could leave for like one game and come back or something mm-hmm. like that. So just a disclaimer: I cannot help on um, the fourth. So you guys are going to have to operate. Solely on your own because I have to be doing the front and my stuff for my yeah. job. Yeah. So just a heads up so everybody knows that. Um, so two games versus one game might make a difference with, you know, if we start at 11, you guys got two hours, two hours of game, or however long you want to do the games. What do you guys think? Is the what do you think do you do typically? Um, what I see is th- Three. three, five, or seven, depending on what kind of league it is. I think we should do three, three. or five. Okay, so, like seven, so you can do five. you can do yeah, three. The way you do the innings is you do ten minute innings. So you would say like three innings or thirty minutes. So it gets so if you have an inning, one really long inning. So that's that way, like three strikes. Or well, it's like because outs still take a while depending on the game. So you have to max it. Otherwise, you might have a game that goes for. Two hours of people just saying I'm waiting for the new game to start. The max for the times for the uh, competitive should be longer though, I feel like. Mm-hmm. So we could do the three innings for family because kids also have a shorter attention span. Maybe like six for And then do. Do we have to decide that it goes? You have to see how many people sign up and how many teams are going to and I think based on that you can make that final decision. If we do have two more meetings, I mean... Right. I mean, but for the registration, we're going to have to put it on the registration. Just so, that people, clarify, I mean. just so that people know, like, because when they're clarifying on, um, like, if they're going to be competitive or family. Um, and then just logistics of how long we'll have the field. Because right now we have a block off on the third from 6 to 10 p.m. Um, so, fitting in that time frame. Well, I understand that, but if you have if you have four teams versus if you have eight teams, that will determine the length of the mm-hmm. inning. Is what I'm saying. So, <coughs> I don't know if we need to. I don't think you have to specify the length of the inning. We can just say how many innings. Well, that's what I mean. I'm sorry, the number of innings, not the length. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we might also specify the length, but when it comes to mm-hmm. if you only have two teams, you're going to play like nine innings and play double header. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Three would mean five, maybe seven maximum, depending on the number of teams. How, when are you going to, like, how early can we get the registration out to try to start getting the word out? So tomorrow I'll try to start making the, I'll start formatting it. Okay. Um, and then that should be approved by Thursday night, and then we'll try to get it out. So uh, Katie's working on flyers to fit it in onto the already existing Fourth of July flyer. Because we were going to do something today, but now that we're doing it on the third, we can't make our own. Oh, when, what is the theme this year for Fourth of July? We remember she was going to have you guys on that. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so you guys can submit, we're putting up a whole thing for the entire community, and you guys can submit ideas if you want, and then you guys will run all of the ideas for each one. I think she's putting them out for the next like, two weeks. And then, yeah, we could go based on the last bit here. Yeah. Is there a prize for the winners? And that's yeah, that was actually what we were talking about. So see your cup. Make a get a trophy? Oh yeah. Of course. Yeah. 
or make a trophy I would like to take them to share from them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys can get yeah. trophies from Crown Trophy. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's not that expensive. And then we were talking about from the time we could give people um, the event shirt for the 4th of July. People love those, so we are going to give those out. For the people that win. For the people that win. You can have, we have the champions playing in the background. <laughs> 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 All right, trophy, do we want to do anything else? We still have ribbons after the fun party. We can give each individual love. Yay. For the, I feel like maybe for the competitive league, we could do something a little more fun. To make the stakes a little higher. Mm -hmm. um, like we could also try and make an announcement, like on the kind of the concert studio, whatever, like band studio, if we wanted. Well, um, the movie after, yeah. Okay. Well, we and then because I talked about the same thing. Try to get people to stay. Yeah. I mean, we'll be cleaning up the event by the time we do, we'll be wrapping up. So we're gonna have to do other stays and watches, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, they're making an announcement before, like, the event ends, so people will, like, just mm -hmm. know it's about the, mm -hmm. so they can watch the movie. So we could do a trophy for family and company, or we could do a trophy for the guy. Yeah, I'm sponsored. That's just so many people on the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to get card every single person on the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. They could split it. Have a five dollar thing for each ten of them, or just a ribbon. Just a ribbon. Yeah. So for do we want to do ribbons for the family so we can give each individual and then trophy for competitive? Yeah. 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 Well, for families, we can take that. So I was referring to the gift card or whatever, but that's. Oh yeah. Well, you will have like multiple families. So then a single event. I mean, Chick-fil-A, I mean, I guess they would just give them out anyway in the parade. Also, if you have individuals who are put on a team with the family. Mm -hmm. They have multiple families on teams. Yeah, I think we're really, this is a good idea. Just because then the kids aren't going to be, like, upset they don't get anything. Mm -hmm. And we have ribbons for first, place and first, second, and third. So, yeah. we have fours. From a previous event, not from our video. Okay. We can do that too. Okay. We should get like one through ten. <laughs> <laughs> Just so nobody feels. I don't know if you can do that many teams actually. Yeah, if you have four rooms, I don't know how many teams. If you get you get four teams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if you think about it, if, let's say the average is fifteen, so now it's sixty people for this. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have a minimum of ten. So who's going to be on the team? Okay. I don't know. But can you raise it? Even if you might, can you raise it? Just so I can know what you can Okay. So we, need, we definitely need four people staffing. Like, we cannot have less, yeah. Um, but if you guys want to do teams, or like if you want to play, you're going to have to, we're going to have to get more. So that's up to the people that will be around. That'd be fine with just staffing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And we'll do the sign up for that once it gets closer. So we're going to do self-policing or get volunteers to ref. Um, like, I think volunteer self-policing generally doesn't work, especially when kids are involved. So self-policing is usually tamer. People don't yell at a ref. Because if we get a volunteer, people will... We have to probably be screamed at. Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, like, self-policing is known to be dangerous. Oh, no, no, that's probably wrong. No, no, that's probably wrong. I'm talking about the screaming. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Sure. It, it, so it can be because it's going to be a little bit more screaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
the competitive side will be about winning. <laughs> but uh, should we all like the people who are going? Should we wear our t-shirts? Like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I wasn't able to come to the Arbor Day, so I never got a t shirt. Oh, yeah, I actually have one We can grab one and then one out. I think we should have some right that. For the reading, absolutely. Let's see. Yes. Every time you interact with the public, you need to be wearing them. Mm -hmm. So, National Jones Day. Mm -hmm. um, Fourth of July. Yeah, Fourth of July. And definitely the reading program. Mm -hmm. Or if we wanted to dress mm -hmm. up for the reading program. Mm -hmm. No. You can just. But as long as we have some, some, some yeah, no, if you just have don't know. Um, so for the National Trail Day, I won't be here for that either. Okay. So I guess just the reading things. You have like, I guess there was signing up for the volunteer thing. I, I wasn't here at the meeting. Um, so I'm going to do the Google form for the signups for specific days. That way you guys can look at it while you're at home, you know, which days you can can do, check with your parents, all that stuff. And it makes it easier for me. And then as I'm not waiting for you, you're going to be gone. So if you know you're going to be on vacation, if you could just put it on there, that way I don't have know if there's something going on that you can't make it. And I've already got a few people on there, which is when it's nice to know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and then we'll do specific signups. Okay. Um, so do we want to do a subcommittee? I mean, we pretty much just knocked out everything for kickball, but do we want to do a subcommittee so that it's getting closer? Or, okay. Yeah. It's going to have to put, like, a ball back in case. Okay. Yeah. Um, who wants to be on that? Hi. Yeah, okay. That's the majority. Um we're having an extra meeting at some point. I was gonna say during summer we could do we could do yeah, we could if we wanted. I was gonna say we could do a meeting earlier or after this time during summer. Yeah. Because people that wanted to play in people could come on up. Yeah. And just even find the flow and just everything for like an extra fourth of July thing just so we can like so make it really fun and set up like the signs for or even just like also to set up signs for the National Trails Day because you said we would need signs and stuff and just do like all the arts and crafts kind of work that we need to that we can do posters for the kickball tournament that we can play around Superior and everything. Okay. Oh, we'll talk about that. Cool. That's it for kickball. Oh, it's good. That was really good. Okay, so for the 4th of July, we obviously have to vote because that was on our mission plan. Uh, so we could, uh, we have the option to make a float, or we could just possibly get a truck and then get a banner uh, with uh, security leadership accounts on the side, whatever, you know, design one we'll over it. And then just have a couple people in the back of the truck. I think that's what, yeah. Yeah, because we have like superior trucks that we could borrow. And then we can, yeah. I think that the easiest is probably the best way to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it not, I've never made a full. Yeah. So I need to help there. I think we can decorate it out so it's not just like a regular yeah. 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 It's very difficult to make an actual float because mm -hmm. my, my Colsack used to do floats and like it would take so much work. <laughs> and I'm just like staring there and I'm just like, how are you guys doing this for like, this amount of time? They did it for like 24 hours. Like it's, it's so weird. So we can do butcher paper banners. So you guys can decorate it if you want instead. Yeah. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Are they doing? Are they having a marching band this year in the parade? Because I think they took it out last year. Um, there was a competition, so that's where the marching band was. So they're trying to get. So I felt like that kind of made it a little less uh, exciting. Yeah, so there was a competition that's why all of them were going. So this year, we're going to get at least one. And I was thinking, if not, like we could be playing music or something off of our yeah. float. Like. Usually they play music. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, so since I'm the volunteer coordinator for the events, we're going to have separate signups for like if you want to do a pancake flipper or you want to do uh, downhill mile registration 
And I was going to extend the invite to you guys. Um, but I said we're going to do volunteer leads. And so you'll be in charge of my entire station. And then you get a radio and you're going to tell me, like, hey, we're running all in and keep that or whatever. Um, and you can boss people around. And you'll have a little bit of authority. So um, I'm going to, the sign up will be up within the next week. And I'll send it to you guys first to sign up for volunteer leads. Um, so if you do sign up to be a volunteer lead, you will not be able to with kickball. So because they've got people to tell me and the game, the first game will start at 11. So be thinking about that for the next few days until I sign up to sign up. But yeah, so the volunteer lead, you can, and you can also pick like volunteer lead for pancakes, volunteer lead for down the line. So, um, so every year it's, I don't know how long it's been around, but Superior has done a down the line down. Oh, now I remember. They do it before oh, the parade. Awesome. Yes. No. So no. The down the line person comes with the kickball, though, right? Yeah. And yeah. So if you did volunteer lead early enough, then you can you can do kickball. Um, if you want to do pancakes or clean up whatever you said before, yeah, depends on the time. So I'd be considering that. But the down the line is down Rock Creek, and because it's downhill, people will have people that run like eight hundred miles can have like a four minute mile because it's all down. So it's like a really fun event because everybody's just like flying down. But yeah, that event's really cool. So what if we actually want to do the downhill mile? Then you can do it. You don't have to sign up to be a volunteer lead um, during that. You can maybe sign up for do kickball, like run kickball, or yeah, yeah. Don't like not participate. I mean, I know, you know. So. Any questions about volunteer stuff for both July? Cool. Is that everyone? Yeah. Okay. Is there any ideas for a banner design? Probably something that has to do with our logo. Yeah. Do we say we want it to draw or do we want to print it? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's up to you guys. And also, um, for the kickball thing, when we we could have our own little tent set up over there, so like mm -hmm. people watching don't have to just because aren't there just bleachers, but not like a mm -hmm. thing over it. We could have a shady area for mm -hmm. just kids. They're not gonna want to sit out in the sun for that mm -hmm. hour or nothing. You have some water there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we can get it from Colorado. Yeah. They give us like, huge cases. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. On the third, we could, I don't know if it, I mean, I guess it depends on the people, but when it gets closer, we could do concessions, like a very minimal concession yeah. stand if we wanted, mm -hmm. um, depending on how many teams, because if we just do teams, I don't know how successful that'll be, but okay. we could get out some nights or something. Can we encourage people, the teams, to wear, like, uh, different colors? Uh, yeah, we're the same. Uniform? Mm -hmm. So, on the, that's a good point. So, on the registration, I can put on the finish, that's the color. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I just probably just will dress up like in fun ways and make it exciting. Two jeans. And like fun socks and whatever. And to, I mean, if we really want people to do that, we could do like a reward for best for a scheme. No, that's not. We could do that, yeah. Okay. Like a scheme. So then we don't win anything. Yeah. And what we could also do is figure out if anyone has signed up for a float and like invite them to be a, be yeah. like a kickball team because they'll all be together and yeah. That'd be funny. That's a good idea. That'd be funny if the like uh, the football players, the little tiny football players, they made a team. <laughs> they made a team. And that'd be funny. And what was your uh, band design idea? Like um, like it could go either way where we print one or we make one like by ourselves like the color of the t-shirts and then black in our name and then I don't know where to, if we wanted to put the logo somewhere we could put that would it have been on like the side of the truck or the mm -hmm. back oh it's so funny you could do yeah. you know because like if we had it on the side there's people on both sides of the yeah. street mm -hmm. so we might want to do like one that you know like wraps around and have two and one on each side. Yeah. Yeah. With butcher paper, it doesn't get easier to where you have one on one side and one on the other. Mm -hmm. And then you can have, like, you can like, paint our logo on the back. Like, you can't paint our logo. No, 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 no,
We could, yeah. You guys could dress up for the theme. Like sitting on the trunk. Mm -hmm. Our logo does look like it would make a good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be a really good memory. That's true. <laughs> By that time, we'll have a lot to do. We might not want to join ourselves, but we can do other things to decorate. Oh, I know what we could do. We can do this, like, the back of, like, we can get a banner and put it on the back of the truck, but then we can decorate the rest of it with what the theme is. Oh. So that I'm watching. Isn't there, like, going to be someone behind us? Like, people can see the back of the truck or the Yeah, I don't know how close yeah. they are. I don't know. So but you're really doing it for the uh, audience, yeah. like, for the people that are, you know, so on the side, on the side, you yeah. know, on the other side of the truck. Mm -hmm. I'll talk about, I'll talk to Katie about the um, budget for ordering a banner. Make sure they're not like insane for us to buy it to you, but I'm pretty sure the, so the other committees have them, or anything goes for like $10. So you can do it like the opposite of the banners on the side of them, just kind of like decorate the back. Like mm -hmm. if it was a line theme, for example, you could just yeah. put flowers on the back. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's another way to do it. Mm -hmm. You could put like... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good drive. Yeah. Probably not. Maybe 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 so we'll just yeah. the town, yeah. Park's going to the town. Yeah. She's like... Wait, what was the last recipe? Uh, Superior. There's Superior, Legend, Superior. So the... Mm -hmm. uh, I have like an Avengers in the room. Oh, yeah, the shirts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that... Yeah, one of my ideas is summer. <laughs> cool. I'm really excited, especially for the Board of Junior. Does anybody have any questions? Continues? So, sorry, I forgot to introduce. So, Kendall is interested in joining the group, whether if we have vacancy or um, once the news, we can start to be choosing this right now, so, you know, if you guys want to go around, you're just, I'm Tori. Rachel. Can you go? Oh, I'm Rachel. I'm Jack. I'm Connor. Tiffany. Chris. Tia. Callie. Zoe. Cassie. Morgan. Grace. So now we're going to test you. <laughs> So thanks for coming. You get 90% of the name right. <laughs> yeah. I know some people who just decided that they didn't like it and they didn't ever want to come again. Um, so you know, we yeah, reached out to members. The process, yeah. yeah, so we reached out to members who <laughs> had to in their absences. Um, and we're working it out with them, so. I think if we, like, brought, like, if a few of us went to one of the house period meetings and, like, asked if she could that we all, the collective I mean, I'm all for it. I don't feel like we need to wait okay. um, yeah. in, in August for that. I think if you're interested, you want to contribute, join us next month. Okay. The people that I've said or the people you've talked to, I think we need to just... Yeah. I mean, I know that Rachel, Alika and I were talking to Zachary once, yeah. and he just said that he doesn't have time. Yeah, I asked him about Which is fine. That's okay. But then it shouldn't, like... But it should have a space and then we, we can't have something. Yeah, I agree. That's not fair. I think we yeah. should be able to join it. Yeah. We could like talk to really like I could. But the people that are not coming back, what's the holdup from removing them from the community? So, because that was a rule. Like, so it's a rule, but it's from... Rule. No, I mean like we said that we would take them out if they missed. Oh, you did? Yeah. So yeah. from, yeah. from the direction that I have from Patrick, the director, um, we... We can't formally, like, we can't keep people out, the board has to. Yeah, so if we can't. So, from my understanding, um, we have to take it to the board, and we have to make a recommendation to the board that we want to change it for next year so that internally we can yeah. get people off. Yeah. So, within the next few meetings, we should formally write a recommendation to the board and the board vote on giving us power. And I'll promote that. I mean, that's the, the, it's the given that you're going to get. Mm -hmm. As long as you can bring it up to us, we'll get it done. Okay, yeah. So then we can have vacancies, so then she will be able to join because we have a vacancy. Okay. Um, and then 
I was in jail and I started having some new year since I had no vacancies, but if if you guys want to take it to the board yeah. with yeah. direction from you, so and I really do that. I, we would love to we would love to have you so <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, Can somebody come on Monday and present that or do you have to actually write it up formally? I'll ask. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that procedure works and I'm adding police, I'll ask Patrick tomorrow. Um, we call. went to one of the Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I know that kids don't want to join up told them, well, you can't until August, but that's... Yeah, yeah. 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 we could definitely, but there's like four or five people that yeah. Yeah. don't come. Are we going to, uh, like for Jorge, I know that he started it, but is he ever coming back, or...? He is coming back for some year. He is. Yeah, so then, do we, well, I guess you'd have to no. reach out. Yeah. 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 yeah, his situation is unique, but... Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the terms are a year. Mm -hmm. um, Which I talked to, I think okay. we make it like two year terms. Oh, yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, so most of those two year terms. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing. Oh, cool. cool. I'm excited about that. So we still do have to. Well, you do not go the other way. It's written right now, but I think starting August, like from well, 2015, like whoever is in, they get two <coughs> years. And, and, you're, and if you're a senior going in next year, obviously you're going to do only one year. Yeah. Can replace you with mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and then if we can decide on our own, then we can just replace. So right. like, since uh, some of our staff freshmen, so we would reapply sophomore to junior year. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So but then that would be the last time because your yeah. junior senior year, you're in for the next yeah. two years, That's right? Cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why we did it one year. We didn't think it through. Much. I think, I mean, it makes sense because you do have like seniors and stuff, but I think the two are going to help just keep it. Yeah. Not only that, but we actually thought, and we discussed this on the board, the calendaring, rather than doing it from January through December, you know, we got to do it from August to August, basically. Mm -hmm. Because you have a new, you, get, you have a new group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to have to write a recommendation for internal voting to remove members, a recommendation for changing the work plan, and then a recommendation for changing the work plan. Changing the work plan for work plan. So that it goes out this August and like January yeah. to December? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that like, you know, there's not like in your and you know, yeah, exactly. like, oh, we made this, you have to do it. <laughs> um, so we'll, we can work on those um, during the next meeting. So I think it'll be good to have a 4th of July separate committee then so we can mm -hmm. focus on that because we would otherwise probably need to focus on that at a meeting. Yeah. The recommendation for removing, I know we're going to have a discussion here, they they're, we'll will want to know what's the criteria. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think criteria is there's obviously if somebody drops out and they don't want to be here, that's, a, that's an easy one. If somebody misses like three months in a row, I mean, unless there are circumstances, you know, they got sick or whatever, yeah. that's a bit, but if they're showing a lack of commitment, then they're not, that, this is a privilege to be part of this group. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not a right, yeah. it's a privilege. So you guys are here, you sacrifice your time and your effort and your energy, you get rewarded for it. If somebody doesn't show up, or shows up once every six months, they don't have the same rights. It seems like, I, I think we all have other commitments, but like, like I know I skip my other Wednesday commitment for this, mm -hmm. but like, if they're choosing to go to their sport, which they play every day of the week, it's like, do you, are you really that committed to this? So, I understand missing. I mean, I miss from here, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. maybe like, you know. And when I talked about it a few weeks ago with Patrick, we talked about the you know, recommendation is everything between excused absences and unexcused. You know, uh, like letter, phone call to me from your coach, so you're not just like, I don't want to go. I'm going to say I have soccer. Um, so we can we can figure that out while we're making a recommendation of because you you're in high school like you're busy you know that so we want to be kicking off people that are committed that you know miss one in January miss one in I think July is a I think it's exactly that is a really good thing. Not even particular, like none of these things you have any say so in this. You yeah. Know what's going on. Yeah. I think consecutive is a really good point. So we can discuss all of that yeah. when we're making our own five totals. Yeah, there's just so many different variables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's three cons. Three? Is yeah, that I, like the, I like the five. Yeah, I mean, three consecutive or two consecutive. Yeah, mm -hmm. two consecutive. Or five total. Or five total. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Like you separate. So it's not like if you, somebody you, you can get her out of the water. They missed two months. They showed up one month. Or they missed two more. I'm like, oh, they've gone four out of yeah. five. Only that's there's got to be like a maximum yeah. Yeah. number of uh, unexcused absences. Like so that. should we do four absences, one per quarter? So that one per three months. Yeah. At max or two consecutive. So it's like whatever one. What if you're have to miss two of them? But you don't miss any of the rest of the year. Yeah. 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 So like four total. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Four total or two consecutive. That's basically you're only here two thirds of the time. Yeah. So that's. Okay. That's mean. That's nice. Yeah. That's mean. <laughs> but okay, four. Uh, yeah. If you miss four in a calendar year, you're done. Four in August, August. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever comes first. Okay. Yeah. So we'll draft those up. At the next meeting, and also now, so the Google Forms works really well for me. And one more thing, just so we're fair, but let's say somebody, we need to write this down. So four, I think, is very fair. We're giving them the benefit of the doubt. But if somebody were to, let's say, they got sick for whatever reason, but they really want to be here, and they, yeah. if there are circumstances beyond their control that way, I think they should appeal to you guys. Yeah. And, and majority of them. And that's why I think they shouldn't just be automatically their off. It should be a vote. Yeah. Yeah, once yeah. that happens, then they're eligible to be kicked out. Yeah. But if somebody's like, they have no interest in their showing up, I mean, that's the right. schedule. If somebody has a desire to be here, and for whatever reason, you know, mm -hmm. some things things happen. Yeah, yeah. 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 has voice that they have no, no desire to be here, and then they, they haven't met the criteria to be kicked off yet. Can we put that to a vote if we have, like, it written? So, so, that's right. so if they have two in a row, I mean, that makes then that's not going to make. Right. And so that's it. I mean, if they don't have a desire to be here, I don't think they'll miss two in a row. They'll miss two in a row. Yeah. 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 Um, and then one benefit for people that we do this, now that they're being recorded, you can go online. Um, I mean, you, you won't want to say info. So, what yeah. What is being recorded? So, we miss So, every committee in council So, every committee and then council meeting is recorded. So, we can just come here to that. So, all this time we're being recorded? And then the speakers. So, people were walking in. So, that's we we got to be on time from now on because the recording is. Like, I don't have control of it, it's pre-recorded. It's at 6.30, so make sure you're on time. And then, with side chat, mm -hmm. you just will pick it up and you can't hear because it'll be like too much noise. So, I mean, we did fine this meeting, but. Um, okay, this was a great meeting. But this, was, this was perfect. This was absolutely, like, I'm, I'm so excited for this one. Um, but just for the heads up, the, the, They'll pick up pretty much everything. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It just will be hard to hear sometimes, so when we are getting like super pumped and excited or if you're munching on your food, just be good. And this is not what we're just eating. Like you're eating. But so having a recording, it will make it easy for when people are missing in. So if there is some circumstantial thing, if somebody yeah, has like a model or something and they can't come, then they can't lunch and then contribute that way. Like with Ronnie, that makes it easier for Ronnie. And at least like staying in communication with you as to why they're missing a meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if yeah. they just like mm -hmm. do not tell you where, like why they were here, mm -hmm. like have it communicated with you all throughout. Yeah. Like all the people right now that are gone, do you know where any of them are? I thought everybody was moving. I was like, yeah, oh, well, we have an amazing turnout, but I didn't get any text before, yeah. so okay. yeah, you yeah. never really know. Yeah, this is a good turnout. We this is, last yeah. Last month, we all went to the main corner. Right? <laughs> yeah. We're like, like <laughs> on the seven o'clock. Do you need a main corner? So, so Patrick said that we can, unless we're writing on a recommendation to the board, we can operate without quorum. I guess OSAC went without quorum for like a year and a half. They just couldn't make recommendations to the board. Okay. Because I told them like we couldn't start until we said that you like, oh, no, you can go. How many people is? Quorum is two thirds. Great. I'm being one. Okay. <laughs> so it's two thirds. So, would I have removed 20? I mean, that would help that we like yeah. the people that weren't showing up off of the list. <coughs> exactly. God, mm -hmm. if the people didn't show up, yeah. uh, we'd still be able to operate it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll draft the recommendation more and I'll have Patrick give you a call. Yeah. So, that would be huge, especially with starting to make sure that the work plan and all that. I mean, we're up and moving.
Yeah. I just noticed that today everyone spoke. I've been waiting for this mm -hmm. to tell you this is great. This, everyone said something. So that's how it's supposed to be run. I want everybody to participate, everyone to share your opinions, to feel comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to keep sending the Google forms as a form of communication. So um, I'll send out one for signups for sub. <coughs> And we can do the 4th of July subcommittee, or we can just do like the subcommittee overall. Just like, yeah, we'll figure out more. But um, so we'll do a subcommittee one, and then I'll do one for sign up days for which we. So it'll have all the days, and you can pick, you can do check boxes of which ones we can make for the reading days and answers. So we'll look out for that tomorrow. Does any, who doesn't have a shirt? Okay, cool. So just stay after, and I'll get you your shirt. I'd like to make a motion to end tonight's meeting. Okay. 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 Yeah. Can you 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 Can you